Hey, good to see you again. Thanks for having us back. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, we'll uh, talk a little bit about uh, the alphabet soup that is GDTF and MVR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> Do you want to explain what those alphabets mean? Uh, yeah. So GDTF uh, is general device type format uh, and MVR is my virtual rig. Yeah. And the, these topics, we're, we're going to get into it more in depth, but um, this isn't just like a grand MA thing. Yeah. This is something that's really cool. Uh, it was developed um, by MA Lighting, Vectorworks, and Roby Lighting. And the idea is it's gonna be this global thing that all the manufacturers hopefully will get on board with. Yeah, it's basically, basic concept is it's a, it's a unified system for uh, how we can describe fixtures, uh, how they work, what they look like, uh, and what actually happens when they're controlled. Yeah, with this, this one general device type format, it means you don't have to go searching for the vector work symbol and the MA DMX profile and the 3D visualization profile for your fixture. It would just be one file that does all of that. That's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and MVR is uh, along the same lines. It's a, it's a generalized way of being able to move a whole environment. So once you've got all your GDTF fixtures, all placed and patched and set up the way you want uh, and then you've also got you know truss in the air and all these you know whatever else is going to be on your show uh, you can pack all of that stuff into an MVR and ship that off to a console or to a visualizer or back to CAD or however you want to do it yeah this is um, a little bit like um, a few years ago we got the MA Vectorworks plugin mm -hmm. uh, that worked on Grandma too and the genius thing there was um, a designer could send me the Vectorworks show file. It's got all the fixtures, the fixture numbers, the patch, the placement, and with that plugin, I could just export that all to the MA2 show file, and all of that information is just in there. And I, it was just, it's such a huge time saver. Huge time saver. Yeah, <laughs> I can't tell you how many hours of work it has, yeah. it has saved me. And this is gonna be even better though. Even better. The idea here is that instead of just being one way as that plugin was, uh, now the MVR file, once you've got it into the console, you could make some changes. Maybe you've added some floor lights or something like that and ship it back via MVR back to CAD so that they have an actual drawing of how the show was actually built. Yeah, um, so let's, dig in just a little bit further and see what sort of information is contained inside a GDTF profile. Here we go. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think the best way to do it um, is actually to use the GDF, gdtf-share.com website because on there they have the fixture libraries, but they also have a fixture builder and you can suck in uh, a fixture that is already existing and take a look inside there and see all the attributes and Let's what it contains. It. Yeah. Okay, so here, looking at the site, uh, I've just pulled in the Roby Lighting, their BMFL wash beam. Great fixture. It is, <laughs> it is a good fixture. Um, so up here at the top, We've got these tabs that'll take you through here. We're looking at the fixture tab. So starting off, information contained therein, uh, information about the name, the manufacturer, a nice little 2D image of the light. Nice. Uh, so the next tab along is called geometry, uh, and this is gonna uh, get into the specifics of uh, how the fixture actually looks. And, and in fact, you see dependencies of, uh, you know, the, the yoke lives inside of the base, and the head lives inside of the yoke, and then the beam of light comes out of the head as a simple example here. Uh, so you can see the dimensions, all of those types of properties. And you get the, the 2D CAD symbol from this too, right? Yeah, included with the GDTF file, you'll see the 2D CAD file so that it looks right in Vectorworks, and then you also see the, the correct 3D dimensions and models and stuff like that come along. So dope. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, physical description, okay, so that's all about um, the light um, emitted from either your lamp or your diodes. So uh, I guess things like wavelengths, color temperature, mm -hmm. um, even the, uh, the information about the filters that are contained in the lights itself. Yeah. So over here uh, in the wheels tab, the next tab along the top there, um, you can take uh, some of those filters, maybe those color filters that you defined in the last tab, uh, and then specify where they might show up on a color wheel. Uh, and then you can also, as you see here, uh, specify gobo images as well and how they would line up on their wheels. 
And I'd imagine you can upload your own images. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, so next tab over is your DMX tab. And if you've ever made a fixture profile for your console, this should feel a little bit familiar here. This is all the channels of your lights, things like pan, tilt, color, focus, zoom. Yeah, how they line up, what what order they'll be in, if they're, you know, need a fine or a coarse channel. Um, also, uh, continuing here, you'll see that you can make different modes. So instead of having different fixture type definition files for individual modes, uh, you just have it all in one place. Again, just keeping everything in one package and just making our lives easier. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, so the next tab along here is interesting. This is something that uh, not a lot of fixture types have been able to, to convey this information. It's all of those macros that are built into a fixture where you might change one setting on, on a macro control channel uh, and that would include things happening with the prism and with the gobo rotation, things like that all together. So in here you can actually define what that what is actually going to happen so that visualizers can show you what happens with the fixture uh, when you pick that particular effect. Yeah, and I don't think I've ever really seen that in a visualizer before. I'm not sure. I, I mean, not ever for me. Maybe yeah. somebody's done it somewhere and I just if you have, that's a lot of good work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that's some of these things that would not be easy. Yeah. 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 Okay, so where does one get these magical profiles? <laughs> <laughs> good question. So you just saw the fixture builder. Uh, again, that's part of the website gdtf-share.com. And on there, you, you don't have to start from scratch, but you can. Sure. Uh, or you can do what I just did where you just import an existing profile and tweak it and you can download it from there. There's also on the same website, there is a fixture share where there's a lot of fixtures that already exist that you can download. And I should say that some of these do exist in the Grandma 3 software. Yes. And if you haven't already, when you go to the website, you're going to notice that there is a login uh, that they want you to make, um, but it's free. Uh, and it gets you access to all of the different, uh, uh, all the different pages, uh, as well as the forum, all that kind of good stuff. Oh yeah, the forum is great because you can get tech support, ask questions. Yeah. And while you're on that website, you can find a list of all of the manufacturers who have already started to become involved with it, uh, whether it's console manufacturers or fixture manufacturers. It's a good list. Yeah. There's a lot of good people in there. <laughs> it is. It's not everybody. It should be. It really should be. <laughs> I mean, I think the goal with this is it's, you know, every light and it's for every console, every visualizer, all of your CAD programs, yeah. um, kind of just getting all of us on the same page. Can we all just talk the same language? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely from the programmer side. If we don't have to be, you know, digging around, you know, looking for profiles, emailing our friends, hey, you use this light on that tour that just came out. Can you send me your profile? Yeah. Do you have a 3D for this or for that? Or, or even wondering what a fixture does, because a lot of times we'll we'll get a fixture that we've never seen before, and if we have a profile that's laid out by the manufacturer, then we're going to see all the things we want to see. We'll see it in in the visualizer. Uh, and we'll have a better idea of how to use that fixture and make it look good. So yeah, maybe this is our not so subtle poke at all the manufacturers out there. If you haven't gotten involved in this yet, please do. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> and remember this whole project is, it's a, a work in progress. Uh, so if you're, if you do get onto those forums, you'll notice that you can actually put in uh, feature requests. Uh, we're looking at version one for everything now, uh, and these things will continue to get better in the future. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I think that's about enough rambling from us for now. <laughs> so thanks again for having us, Lee. We're going to throw it back to you. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>